The year of 2014 enjoyed the ability for the Office of the City Manager and all others involved to successfully negotiate new lease agreements to that effect, not only for purposes to continue their arrangement here in our community, but or a presence in our community, but to also expand the operation by an additional 350 or so additional federal government positions. When people think of the Federal Aviation Administration, and of course, given the presence of Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta National Airport in our community, there's an actual logic associated with the presence being in College Park. So it's been a banner year, and quite frankly, that sets the pace for 2015. And what that means is a office residential presence that is not necessarily dependent on automobile traffic. People can live, shop, play within this particular environment while being immediately adjacent to the MARTA station here in College Park. During the last couple of months, the city of College Park had been recognized by the Government Finance Officers Association of the United States and Canada for an award for best financial reporting that occurred back in November 2014 and this month we received the award for best budget presentation. So not only from a financial reporting standpoint, meeting the qualifications and the high standards associated therein, but our budgeting practices have been recognized across the board as well. So both recognitions within a couple months is a tremendous accomplishment. It's very important for residents and other stakeholders of the City of College Park, current and future, to understand that we are very capable and we are taking such matters very seriously. But to have that recognition acknowledged by an international organization goes a long way in that regard. We also receive further confirmation from both Standard & Poor's and Moody's of our AA bond rating as well. So we're able to continue in that regard and we have the opportunity to actually increase those ratings as a result of implementing some measures that they've recommended. The higher the bond rating, or credit rating, if you will, for us as a municipality, the better off we'll be in terms of competitive interest rates and the ability to accomplish more. So we're moving in the right track in that regard as well, and I'm really proud of that. There are some existing bonds associated with spurring economic development activity with the Spring Hill Suites and the Marriott Hotel facility. Currently, they have been in place the last few years. So with the new Marriott Renaissance, we've already negotiated a separate deal to get that underway, which should happen in 2015 as well. We're actually able to refinance existing bond issues to achieve millions of dollars in cost savings. The city of College Park has been able to experience millions of dollars in savings, somewhere in the neighborhood of $70 million in change for those projects alone. So that coupled with the solid bond ratings and the ability to, to enhance those as we go forward, we'll be able to achieve some progress along those lines as well. Essentially, Freeport tax exemption is an economic development incentive. Currently in the state of Georgia, municipalities are able to charge a Freeport tax for industrial, other forms of commercial activity being engaged within a particular community. The Freeport tax exemption is something that is actually enjoyed by neighboring communities. East Point, Clayton County, Atlanta, most communities, Fulton County as well, most communities throughout metropolitan Atlanta make this opportunity available. The voters get to choose. They will have the opportunity to vote for this particular opportunity come March 17th, and that's a citywide election. So we think it's great. We think it's a step in the right direction to ensure a viable future relative to economic development opportunities. For 2015, the direction, quite frankly, is to continue to move forward with the positive momentum having been experienced in 2014. We hope to offer a great deal of achievement and, and leadership to get to that place such that we can offer some redevelopment focus along those lines as well, in addition to all the other good work being done to benefit the external community here in College Park. Likewise, for 2015, we anticipate being extremely busy. The momentum, the pace is to continue. Quite frankly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Once again, as I said to others throughout my tenure on board, having a great time here in College Park, both personally and professionally, and we have a lot to be thankful for. So for that reason, we have much work to do, and I think we're all up to the task and, and legwork associated with getting to that place.